number 13 then from the 2017 Mathematics and Mechanics. Seven mark question this time. It's actually a very straightforward question. A satellite orbits the Earth at a height of h metres above its surface. Part A. If the radius of the Earth is capital R metres and the acceleration due to gravity at the surface is nine times that experienced at the satellite, express h in terms of r. Well, what you're going to be doing here is just using the law of gravitation, Newton's law of gravitation, which says the force experienced between two bodies is equal to this universal gravitational constant times the product of their masses divided by the distance squared, the distance between their centres of masses squared, inverse square law. But since it was talking about in part A, not the force, but the acceleration, then I'll replace F by MA. And since it's talking about gravitation, instead of writing A, I'll use G for the acceleration due to gravity. So the first thing is, what happens at the surface? Well, M, and I'll just call that G now to the surface, will be GMM divided by, and the distance between them, if it was on the surface, would just be the radius R, capital R squared. Doing that gets a mark. Now, what happens at a height of H? Remember, the two parts here is so that's R, and that's h above the surface. Well, mg at h will be exactly the same thing. Project mass is over, but this time the distance between their centres will be r plus h squared. Now, they seem to have gone through a slightly different route to the answer in the marking scheme, which seems to be just a bit more involved in just straightforwardly comparing them. So I'm just going to say that'll be the second mark. Now, what was the connection between them? Notice the M's at this point cancel out. Now, you were told that G0 was equal to nine times the acceleration at the height of the satellite. So replacing that would be this expression for G0, knocking out the M's, says GM over R squared will be nine times this one, nine times GM over R plus H squared. I'm going to say that's the third mark because I think it's just as simple as that. And the last mark's now just for solving that. Now that they're equated to each other, the GMs will cancel out. Then take that across to multiply that side, take that across to multiply that side. The GMs, of course, cancelling. You're almost there. R plus H will be the square root of that, which will be 3R, which has to be positive. And finally, H is going to be, take that R across and subtract, you've got 2R, there's the fourth mark. Now for part B, if a second satellite is orbiting the Earth at a height of 3R above the surface, show its angular velocity, so I'll just call that omega, can be expressed as this. So for three marks, you have to show that omega equals one eighth of root small g upon capital R. Well, the centripetal force, m omega squared r, ma, will be equal to the gravitational force of attraction, g m m over r squared. So put in the actual figures, noticing the m's will cancel out. So omega squared, now the distance between them is going to be 4r, will be gm over 4r squared. I'll just rewrite that. 4r omega squared equals gm over 16r squared. Now I could have taken them across, but I want to keep this little r isolated just now. So there's one equation equating the centripetal force with the gravitational force of attraction. But I need this G incorporated and not these constants. So I'll just go back to the surface. At the surface, mg equals g m small m upon capital R squared. So that gives me an expression for G. Knock out the m, small m's. G m over R squared. There's a second equation. Now it's just a case of substitute that in this. So substitute 2 in 1, which effectively would be the third mark. I know they've done it slightly differently. means you've got this. 
4 r omega squared equals now gm over r squared gets replaced with g so g over 16 because you're almost there oops so omega squared will be the g over 64 r so finally ohm is going to be the square root 64 has got an exact square root so it can escape the square root brackets but the g and the r are stuck inside as required for the last mark.